How's it going guys? Today I got a very special video. This is not my account. This is my guild leader's account. This is Chronicars. I hope I'm saying his name right. Guy's luck. He's got an undead team. Kind of wish I had this. The only thing I could change out is the Aladdin for another succubus, but can't complain. I mean, he needs gold. But anyways, on to the highlights on why they're good. That chain lightning right there. OP is crap on the early stages, even on the late stages when you have enough attacks buffs, but they're, you know, excuse me, less than halfway across, well, sometimes they can get be less than halfway across the screen, they will hit the crystal, and especially when the times five is proc'd off, and ex with, uh, with, um, well, Lich has crit damage for his thing, and it gives 81,000, if I'm not mistaken, crit damage percent, which is a lot. And the Dark Admiral gives another uh, 130, 140, yeah, 141,000. And, you know, you have the one physical and the one magical, and those are the only two you focus on. But when you get to the high enough point where you can get everyone else to 1,600 and you have them all at T3, their damage bonuses are about the same as Admirals, the 44,000, 47,000. So it won't be as much, give or take a couple thousand. But when you get to that big in numbers, it does not matter. And this goes for all the units like the alchemist or the pilot they all give some ridiculous amount of damage or crit damage but the reason why the undead team is so good is because the succubus is a very nice support increasing the uh, movement speed attack speed i think attack speed attack range yeah movement speed um where else attack range sorry my dog's snoring but um yeah, the succubus is one of the best units you can have. Sorry, got a bad one. Get him to stop snoring, which didn't help. All right. Anyways, back on topic. With all their attack buffs and their speed buffs, the undead team is the best team to have in terms of sheer raw power and the fact that it can just hit the crystal from over halfway across the screen. Now, I'm not sure if this video will show it very often, but in some of the clips I've seen that the other players have sent in chat, it literally spawn dead, spawn dead, spawn dead. Everything dies as soon as one of those liches spawn. It's just ridiculous. Especially when they have the um, movement speed up. Where to go? Where to go? No, nope. that's game speed only has forty five, which is which is good. I only have fifteen or twenty. I don't remember. But with the attack range, what's the attack range at? An increase? Now, well, you need to level up other stuff in order to get the attack range up more. It's not sure how it plays out. But the movement speed, one hundred thirty six percent. Once you the three main ways to get your game faster is. Priests, for one, five times speed, movement speed, and game speed. Those are the only real ways to increase your speed, unless you want to get the details of the, um, what do you call, um, spawn times, spawners, spawns, the unit spawns, there we go. Battle engagement, that's what it's called. The faster units spawn and the faster they get across the map, the faster they hit the crystal, the faster you win. Plain and simple, that's what the goal is, but... For having this right now, let's see, let's add it up. You got 1,550 plus 2,120, so that's 3,670. He's 370 um, waves ahead. I only get about 200 ahead of mine before I start to really stall out. The Undead Team has some unbelievable support and some unbelievable damage. And the stun is nuts. That's actually pretty crazy. My guys didn't last this long. I got four alchemists, druid, and uh, Goku, with four priests and two force guardian back uh, backup. But these undead, this is just nuts. I didn't realize undead was this good. Now, well, against a boss, it's going to be a little lackluster because we are at such a high level. But well, it is high level regardless. It's just the fact that we need to be a little bit stronger. Sound good. It sound good. Mm, it's a bummer. Well, anyways, let's move on to artifacts for now. He has mostly quest gold items, just because of well, the quest gold. So he needs gold in order to you know get the units up. But he unfortunately doesn't have any six star quest gold items. As let's see, go to quest. He only has a hundred thousand per, uh, percent increase. I have three hundred and something thousand on mine. I can hit max level no problem within you know an hour. But man, my dog is just loud. 
Yeah, sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. But, anyways. Yeah, this is the undead team. I guess I can do an arena run. Might as well, right? If you haven't seen it in the arena, which you probably have fought one or two just because you're curious, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, versing it up. Let's see how it plays out. Man, my internet sucks. Um, let's see. Anything else really wanted to talk about, about instead of just showcasing the undead? I don't think so. Oh, double speed ran out. Darn. But actually that's not a bad thing. I've heard I've been um, in the chat, some people one some of the guys have been saying that if you get the double speed, the double speed will screw your game over. For some reason I have no idea why. See, I'm just getting stun locked. Just like that. Full C metals behind him and still he can still trump it. Just done. Sorry, boss. Yep. No, no, ranking. Let's we'll go back and look at that battle history and click on. God, come on, internet. Screw it. Not worth it. But, anyways, this is the undead team for, you know. It's really quick early stages. Not even early stages. When you get the attacks buff, it'll j it just blows through everything. I'm. It's pretty ridiculous. Like I said in the chat, some of the other guys have sent the videos, and from what I've seen on their accounts, from having you know, I'll use the top player. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but with all of his units being so strong, he has almost a million percent more damage on everything. He sees more black screen than he does actually see of in-game screen, which is pretty crazy. Anyways, this is the Undead team. Can stun lock everything, apparently. I thought my alchemists can push back stuff and turn the bunnies. No, this is just nuts. And not even flinching. They just stun. On top of the stuns, the succubus will do her little uh, thing. There you go, the hearts. Then won't attack them. And, well, yeah, this is the Undead team. So, uh, yeah. There you guys go. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry about my dog.